Yo, what is going on? We have some weather to talk about here real quick. Um, so, yeah, the National Hurricane Center has upgraded this little disturbance off the east coast of Florida to a 40% chance formation uh, in the next seven days. So, um, it's been kind of, there's been this little low, low pressure point dancing around off the shore on the east coast for a little while. And this is probably the picture you've... Uh, perhaps seen on uh, on uh, social media floating around of this big old hurricane forming. Um, this only only shows up on the icon um, icon forecast model. Uh, it it doesn't it does not show on the uh, European model. Um, here here's what the European model looks like: uh, disorganized showers and thunderstorms. Um, l- likewise, uh, if we go take a look at the GFS. Um, you know, obviously lots of showers and, uh, all up and down the Florida or Florida peninsula, as well as, uh, Florida panhandle and, um, and to Louisiana, but, um, no, no, uh, uh, formation of a, a hurricane there. Um, but the icon model, on the other hand, it, it shows something a little different. It shows, you know, this, this little pressure point as it moves across the, uh, Florida peninsula. It it develops into a little tropical storm going on there. So, um, it's been showing that for a couple of days now. But here's the thing. For a while, I was saying, you know, that that's not going to happen. There's not going to be. That's just a hallucination that happens. The GFS hallucinated all the way back in. I think it was April. There was going to be a massive Category Four hurricane. Didn't happen, obviously. Um, but now that uh, the National Hurricane Center uh, has actually upgraded this to a 40% uh, formation, there there is a, a good chance that, you know, something could get spinning up. Uh, the, the system is forecast to move westward across the Florida Peninsula on Tuesday and Tuesday night. Uh, eventually, they, they think and now maybe it'll move out into the to the Gulf. Um, th- that's basically what'll determine whether or not you get uh, development, further development, um, is whether it's this little low pressure disturbance goes out into the Gulf. Uh, as you can see, the icon is showing it going out into the Gulf. Uh, conditions are currently favorable for uh, tropical development in the Gulf. Um, but if you can see on the GFS, if we go back to the GFS real quick, it does not have that low pressure point going out into the Gulf. Um, However, someone at NOAA obviously thinks there's a a decent chance that it, there is a formation there as that low pressure point heads out over the Gulf. The HRRR on the other hand is actually showing uh, that that the low pressure point does get out a little bit uh, a ways out into the, into the Gulf. And um, if you, if we look at the, this is the Google, um, AI model, and you can see it looks. You know, we, we've got we've got a few tracks here, but that's kind of like what the H triple R is showing. So right now, what it looks like is we'll get some kind of probably. I mean, th- this low pressure point is is looking like it's going to go out over over the over the Gulf. So I'm I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen at this point. The question is, how far does it develop? Does it develop into, you know, the crazy uh, icon model, what it's forecasting, you know, all the way to the point of a, a, a tropical storm? Uh, probably not. I, I wouldn't think so. I think it probably looks something more like this, where you have some general, kind of what it's been thus far, just some a fairly, you know, intense rain for a few days, kind of, you know, trying to organize. You can see it's trying to organize a little bit, but I don't, I don't think we'll see a whole lot of organization. Um, go down and comment and let me know where you're watching from too, because I'm, I'm curious. But I don't think it really matters, because if we go ahead and head over to the, uh, this is the excessive rainfall risk from the uh, Weather Prediction Center. Um, this is the day three, so that this would be Wednesday. Um, if we go to the day four, you can see th- th- this is where it would potentially, if the if uh, the system would make landfall. Um, we have all up and down the coast here 
uh, 5%, 5% risk, um, all the way over here to uh, New Orleans area of uh, a 15%, um, chance of excessive rainfall, flash flooding. So the, the real event here is not, I don't think going to be winds or anything like that. Hurricane force winds aren't going to be too much of an issue. I don't think the main thing will be more flooding because you know, we haven't had enough flooding yet in the last few days. Um, over the next over the next week here, we're gonna have a lot of rain. Okay, we're looking at a lot of rain. So obviously, the Florida Peninsula is getting you know two inches. Probably it's gonna be in some places like five inches of rain. All the way up the coast here, we're getting all this rain. Um, and obviously, if there's and that's without in the European model is not even showing any development of. Uh, of this system. So if the system does develop as the uh, icon suggests or as the HRRR sort of is suggesting, we could end up with a lot of rain all the way up the coast here. So uh, through the next week. Um, so that's going to be the main thing here is just the rainfall. And uh, I think that's what the National Weather Service is, is showing as well with this uh, excessive rainfall. Now, the icon model was was actually quite good in uh, last year as far as hurricane path prediction goes. So let's put it this way. It's got some street cred in a sense. Hurricane hunters are uh, going to go out and take a look at it. Um, so once, once we get those hurricane models spun up, we'll have a much better idea of what's, what's going on here. Um, Obviously, you know the hurricane models are, are going to give us a much a much better picture as to what we're what we're actually dealing with here. I just wanted to pop on here and make a video real quick. Uh, now that we do have a forty percent forty percent chance of cyclone formation in the next seven days, and uh, yes, conditions are favorable currently in the Gulf, assuming that low pressure uh, disturbance heads out over the water. Be sure to like the video if you just like this. Uh, if you like this kind of weather discussion, and I'll, I'm, I'm thinking about maybe doing more of these um, in the future. Uh, but yeah, like it if like the video if you enjoy this. Um, all right, well that's all the weather talk I've got for you today. Be sure to like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>